honestly, t um, today we are just going to go straight in and talk about today's film. In this case, it's the film The Day After. So we had always we had previously talked about the British film Threads. Well, today we're looking at the American film The Day After. And keep in mind, this film actually came out predates Threads. So what was Threads about? I mean, what was The Day After about? Well, in this film, a fictional war between NATO forces and the Warsaw Pact over Germany that rapidly escalates into a full-scale nuclear exchange between the United States and the Soviet Union. The action itself focuses on the residents of Lawrence, Kansas, of Kansas City, Missouri, and of several farm families farm and of several family farms near nuclear missile silos. Uh, the film was actually directed by Nicholas Meyer. Um, and if you and if that uh, name sounds familiar, he would direct, like, say, like. Star Trek Two: The Wrath of Khan, or Star Trek, uh, I think it was, um, oh, which one was, number was it? The Undiscovered Country. These are shields, Captain. Never been this close. The Chancellor is undoubtedly awaiting our signal. Honestly, well, since I saw the uh, film uh, Threads first, I will say that I was going to say this film was pretty good. I think that the makeup for this film was honestly pretty good. I think it does a pretty good job of what would happen if, um, like, say, n nuclear war would happen in the here in the States. And like a giant community of a state was affected by it like whether it was like say the effects of radiation poisoning on a community or individuals but i haven't got any damn hair to put it into You look great. However, I ha I have to do give this point out because this is just my thinking process. Since I had already seen Threads first, since I had seen the film Threads first, I had honestly thought, I honestly still think, I could totally be wrong about this, but I think that Threads is more of the more brutal of the this kind of film and that it has it shows it shows more of a brutalness to it like whether it was like people extremely brutalized and all that stuff um i do have to say that this film also feels a bit more feels a bit more relevant today like, in a way, just switch the names of the United States and the Soviet Union to something like, say, Russia and Ukraine or other countries from the past. It feels very relevant even today. So, yeah, I mean, I think that those bits of details are, you know, still relevant today. And I do have to say, there are moments where, like, say there are characters that are just trying to get home, or they are trying to get to the hospital, because, like, say, whether it, like, one character um, goes blind, a young child goes blind from seeing the blast of the missiles, or a young girl becoming pregnant, like, say, the effects of radiation poisoning, poisoning, like losing one's hair, 
or as well as like the fact that like whenever like s like one like near the end of the film one man is just trying to say before i pass away i want to see my home again and discovering hey it's full of swatters and he at first he's trying to say hey <laughs> out of my house but I, do, but I do say that the there are is a bit of hum, humanity in the film like say the fact that the homeless man offers him food I'd still say the film has a bit of Hopefulness, not, not hopefulness in the fact that like, perhaps the world will regrow itself. But I do say that the end of the film is a bit of hopefulness in the fact that there are two characters just like saying, "We have you." I could totally be wrong about that, but I do have to say that while I do think this film has good makeup, the acting is good. Not, the film is not as brutal as Threads. Unfortunately, this is this is the kind of one of those films that is just not a film that you would want to w watch like multiple times, like Fred, like Threads would be or contain, contagion. And without a vaccine, we can anticipate that approximately one in 12 people on the planet will contract the disease. But I do think this film is very good. What do you think?